it, but um, I just know a liar when I see one. No, I'm not working for no company like that. I will quit in a heartbeat. I'm way too old to be mistreated. Oh, so y'all, sunglasses are cute and stuff for like looks, but really, I can't see no sunglasses. So, you know what? We gonna take these off. And When they say she get it from her mama, I'ma say you got it right. Body through this pump like the me in the humble type. Tell me, is you down? Cause I'm trying to go go tonight. All the hundreds left and right. I just wanna live in a fantasy. I think we September the 11th and I'm headed to work. I'm headed to the business that pays me. So let's go ahead and get into this curvy fashion look of the day. So this is my outfit. I got everything from Shein besides the belt and the, um, the shoes. So um, the earring, like a knit, not knitted, but like a woven kind of material, uh, woven, I guess that's what you call it. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, these are from Shein. They came with a different pack of colors. The top is from Shein. I believe it's a 2XL. The belt is from Amazon. These pants, I was trying to, I want, want to go ahead and wear them today because it's getting, you know, cooler and I didn't want to like waste my, you know, just waste them because I haven't worn them yet. So these are really good material. They are a little bit see-through. Got my shirt tucked out in the back because it's kind of a little bit see-through. Other than that, y'all, they are so comfortable and um, really flowy, not tight or anything like that and I'm loving the pattern on them so uh, it's kind of more of like a tan kind of color that's why I kind of paired it with this belt I don't really know if the shoes go but I'm wearing them anyways y'all because they're they are pretty long the pants are so they kind of drag so I needed something with a little wedge or little heel so I just threw these on and yeah this is my curry fashion look of the day and of course y'all I'm headed to work so let's go ahead and get in the car so I don't know if y'all watched the debate last night. Let me know if y'all watched it. Just say, leave in the comments yes or no. I'm, I don't want politics up on my channel. But um, if y'all are not registered to vote, y'all need to vote and make sure that you vote for what's right. And you know, I watched the debate and like I said, I'm not gonna get into it, but um, I just know a liar when I see one. So in other news, y'all, I decided to quit Weight Watchers. I really haven't been on it that long. Like I said, I did it for a month. I did lose about 10 pounds, but I was kind of doing other things too before then. So I really don't know if it was Weight Watchers or what I was doing before then, which I was just counting calories. I was going to the gym. I was actually taking a fat burner supplement and like some um, gummies. I used to be a distributor of It Works Global, which is the, the crazy wraps. And so I had, to, I had ordered some of their products before. And um, when I was a distributor, of course I used them all the time, but recently I have ordered some and I'm like, I'm just gonna use these because I mean, they do really help. I just think my thing is right now is that I'm just so like anxious to get the weight off because I'm, I'm the heaviest I've ever been that I just don't give it time and I just don't have any patience. So that's kind of where I'm kind of where I am with my journey. And so I'm so I, I don't use stuff long enough. I guess that's probably the same thing with Weight Watchers. But one thing about Weight Watchers, I'm going to be, you know, real with y'all about it is the um, let me get I'll come back. Y'all this lighting, it ain't, it ain't hitting on nothing. Just, just give me just a second. 
All right, this is a little bit better, but I'm about to go into like some trees kind of area, so it's gonna clear up uh, more better. Anyways, one thing about Weight Watchers is that the things that I like to eat has a lot of points. And that was kind of the issue with me, is that I just felt like that, like a piece of bacon, like two pieces of bacon, I believe was like four points. Now y'all know, ain't no two pieces of bacon gonna do anything for nobody. So, you know, I mean, maybe three, but I just felt like if I did three points, I think it went up to maybe five points or something like that. So I was just like, uh, and then there are some other things. Like, I think there was something that I was going to get like to like take out and hold on. Okay. Y'all. Hopefully we're good now. Um, but anyways, I was going to get something for like takeout and it was like 17 points and I forgot exactly what it was. So I'm like, I think it was, it was a wrap. I think some type of wrap I was going to get. So I'm like, well, that's like my day is 23 points. Like that's pretty much all my day. So I'm like, I don't know. And they had a lot of zero point foods, but y'all groceries is high. So I can't just be eating all the eggs I want throughout the day. And I mean, it still has calories across how you look at it. Like the stuff that I was eating still had calories. And it's like, I can't be eating no, no dozen eggs, half a dozen eggs every day just because I'm hungry. So I'm like, I don't know if this is going to work for me. I did try it. Um, I know I've seen a lot of success stories with it and I'm not down in it for anybody if y'all do want to try it. But just for my eating lifestyle, I felt like that it was just the point system was a little too much, too high for me. And um, I also eat yogurt a lot. So like I love those um, ratio yogurt, the protein yogurts. So I, I, what, I am trying to accumulate at least 100 grams of protein a day. And um, yogurt is part of the ways that I get in protein because it's, you know, it's cheaper than, you know, uh, you know, a pound of hamburger meat or something. So I would just grab a yogurt and go, you know, for work and everything for a snack. And so one of the yogurts that I did like, which is the ratio protein yogurt, has like 20 grams of protein. I believe the calorie count is not that bad. But y'all, it was like, I think it was like four or five points just for that yogurt. And I'm like, that's just, it's just taking up all my points. So it's just, not, I don't feel like I'm going to be successful with this. So, I mean, of course, I know they have the meetings that you can go to, or you can like, I guess maybe virtually, I don't know, but I know they did have meet, a meeting here that um, you could go to. And I just, I, I don't know, just because I eat differently and the things I like to eat um, was a lot of points, I just decided to go back to calorie counting. So um, that's what I did. I've been doing that this whole week. I've been counting calories. I use uh, my fitness pal and I put in, of course, what I eat and, you know, it's been working for me. So my calories I'm doing is, is 2,000. So I'm trying to do 2,000 and under. Like, I think Monday I had like 1930 something. And then yesterday, I believe it was like close to like maybe 1,800, 1,900. I'll have to go back and check because I had a little bit more popcorn when I put it in my um, app. I had I added more popcorn to it and I didn't update it. So I got to go back and update to see what I actually ate, you know, how many calories I ate yesterday. But yeah, that's just what I'm going to try again because I know it works. I did it before. And honestly, if you just eat less, then I mean, you're going to, you're going to lose weight, even if you don't work out. But if you just eat less, like you're going to lose weight. So, um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm switching up, I'm, you know, and I, you have to try new things. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, make sure that I, whatever I do try is comfortable for me and I can, you know, kind of stick with it. So, and eventually when you do count calories, cause like I said, I've done this several times before, you'll kind of get used to what you've uh, been eating and you don't really, you know, um, you don't, uh, you kind of, you don't have to track is what I'm saying. You ain't got to track no more cause you kind of, you know, you're used to what you've been eating. So anyways, for breakfast, I'm going to have two eggs. I'm going to have turkey, so like three ounces of turkey sausage. And then I get the premier uh, protein pancakes, um, which I only eat two of them. The serving size is three. I just eat two and then I have some fruit. So that's what I'm going to eat for my breakfast. So anyways, I'm almost here at my job. So I will check with you all later. Hey girl, y'all, it is Thursday, September the 12th, I believe. Um, I got my order in from Shein. So let's go ahead and do a unboxing. So I went and opened some of the stuff, but this is like a, um, just a, like a black bomber jacket. So I do have some outfits I'm going to put together. Um, this is in a size 3XL. If I can get it on, y'all, what's going on with this thing? Okay, here we go. I probably could have sized down, y'all, but I don't ever know what is going to look right. You know, I mean, not look right, but what's going to fit me with Shein because like it's kind of a hit or miss sometimes, but this is kind of, it's kind of big, but I kind of like it oversized, but I thought this was cute. I'm going to put a look together, but it's just kind of like a short kind of cropped. It's not a bomber jacket, but it's a short kind of cropped jacket. thought this was cute. Then, of course, y'all know it's getting fall, so 
I ended up getting this sweater. Well, some of my sweaters be itching me. I'm not going to try this one on, but this is like a cropped. Hopefully it'll fit y'all. I don't know. But anyways, this is like a sweater I got. You could probably, um, my idea is to wear this with a button down top underneath it or button down shirt underneath it with the collar. And I got a look I'm going to put together with this, probably like with some navy pants um, and leopard. I got a look. Y'all just, y'all need to follow me if you haven't followed me. I'm trying to do trial hauls and vlogs once a week. So, yeah. So, anyways, got that. Then, let me open up this. Is what I was going to put underneath that sweater. Just, I just needed it to be kind of short and cropped. But, like I said, I got that. And I'll probably try this on the weekend. I just got off work y'all, and I don't feel like trying it down right now. So we're just gonna open up to see what I got, because I don't forgot. This is some linen pants, because I still need these. This is in a size X, zero XL. Oh, I'm sorry, this is not a linen pants, y'all. This is a skirt. So this is a skirt, a little black skirt. Um, I can wear this in the fall, I can wear this now. I know it's leopard or could use this leopard <laughs> this is some pants leopard pants so this is a look I'm gonna put and then y'all I have not been on my Instagram like posting stuff because it's just kind of too much <laughs> it's too much to keep up with all the social media so I'm kind of more focused on YouTube but I do want to post a real um, like a leopard print kind of real because I know leopard is our trending right now. I never knew it wasn't trending because I've always still worn it, but I know it's trending. These are the the um, linen pants because I need like a black pair of pants. It's just this comfortable and just kind of flowy. So we'll see if these fit me. Now, okay, this is more. Okay, so I got. I think this is a top. I got some looks from actually another fashion influencer. So I'm kind of going to recreate her looks but add a little twist to my, my style to it. Um, and of course I get looks off of Pinterest as well. But this is a dress, y'all. I thought this was cute. With some, I can see this in pair with like some black boots or like a black belt. Yep. Yeah. This is going to be a look if it fits. Let's open up this to see what this is. I think this is just a black top. I feel like you can never go out, run out of black shirts or black like dress shops. Because, okay, so this is cute. So it's kind of like a wrap kind of style. So I thought this was cute to wear. Like I said, I do have a look in mind, but I, I got to go back to my phone to see what it is. But I do have a look in mind. This is, yes, this is a blue jean vest because y'all know this is really trending. This can be paired in the, the fall months. You can put like a white top under it, um, like a white long sleeve shirt, like a white long sleeve turtleneck. You can do some jeans with it, denim on denim with some brown boots. That's cute. Or you could do like a... Uh, the white long sleeve uh, turtleneck with some white boots and some jeans. Yeah, definitely can pair this with lots of looks. And that's all I got right now. So I'm going to clean this all up, y'all, and go take a shower and get myself ready for work tomorrow because it's tomorrow's Friday. I don't have to work this weekend. So I probably will try some of these looks on and um, do a try on haul. So y'all make sure y'all look out for that. Look out for my try on haul. Uh, Shein. I probably will. I think the next trial haul, I think I'm going to do workwear. So the whole uh, video is going to be about workwear. After that, I'll probably incorporate the order that I got in today um, on the next trial haul. So anyway, y'all go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss any of my trial hauls or any of my vlogs. So let me show y'all my outfit I wore today because we had customer appreciation day so we could wear a t-shirt and pretty much we could wear like we couldn't wear jeans today but we could wear a t-shirt. So this is just my company shirt and then I just paired it with this dress y'all. So this is just a dress. It's like a full dress and I just tied it with the a hair tie. So that's how I did. I just did it like that. Just tied it like you're going to put your hair in a ponytail and then I just tucked this part under. 
and kind of just folded it like that um, to add a little bit of a waistline. And then I just put this cardigan on. It has, you know, it's got the, the nets. It's kind of like see-through, whatever. Y'all, my mirror is dirty. Anyway, see-through. And then, yeah, this is just a look at these sandals from... So the top is from my work. The um, little cardigan is from Shein. The dress is from Target. And the shoes is from Ross. So, yep, this is what I wore to work today. So if you ever have dresses that are solid and you want to wear some graphic tees, y'all, this is the way to do it. Um, it's, you know, a popular look. A lot of girls do it, especially if you are a teacher or something like that. A lot of teachers do it. You know, if you want it to wear like a, a graphic tee on, you know, Fridays or whatever they let you, whenever they let you wear it. This is a look that you can do. You can also do this, of course, with skirts. If you have a skirt, you can just throw on your tee and tuck it in. But yeah, this is what I wore to work for our customer appreciation day. Good morning, Curvy. Happy Friday. It is September the 13th. Um, do y'all believe in like superstition and stuff like that? Because I don't. Like, I know people say September 13th, you know, it's going to be a bad day or whatever. I just feel like your days depend on like how you wake up in the morning and take your day you know what i'm saying like if you're gonna wake up in a negative mood or whatever then your day is gonna be negative if you wake up happy then your day is gonna be happy that's how i look at things you know so anyways i don't believe in all this you know friday the 13th and all that kind of stuff so anyways but it is friday the 13th i am headed to the job that pays me um and i don't get off work today until 5 30 because we uh stay open an extra 30 minutes on a friday i hate it every friday but anyways that's the position i got myself in so it's just a long day you'd be surprised like how an extra 30 minutes will kind of affect your afternoon because i could be home by then um, but anyways, yes, yeah, so I'm just headed to work and, um, what was I going to talk about? Oh yeah. So pretty much I am in this like group for my city or whatever. Well, actually a law firm, so, um, a law firm shared it, but let me tell y'all about Bucky. So y'all know if y'all been watching my vlogs that I live really close to new Bucky's like it was just open. I think I want to say June. So pretty much they said they are really strict. So they pay pretty good. You know, they pay $18, which, you know, I mean, that's decent for like, you know, just starting out. But um, they are really, really strict, y'all. So pretty much this law firm shared this story of this employee where he was uh, retired and he just wanted, you know, uh, extra money. Um, let me, hold on, y'all. Okay, so this employee was retired and he, uh, you know, just was just wanted to make a little extra money, get out of the house, you know, do things like that. Because the older you get, you know, you want to be active and, you know, you just want to have something to do besides just sitting around all the time. So he applied at Bucky's part time. So after his shift, this is what the law firm shared on the Facebook page, but after this, his shift, they were pretty much filling up the cookie dough balls or something like that. I don't know, cookie dough something. And um, they only put like, I believe they put like seven in a cup, but there was like, two extra so he ate he ate it like he ate the little the cookie cookie dough so they found out and they fired him from well well okay before they fired him they called the police and they wanted him to you know um be prosecuted prosecuted for that but the police was like you know no we're just gonna give him a citation and then they ended up firing him and I, I mean how do y'all feel about that because i feel like that some jobs do offer you to like eat on the job or like if they have leftovers or if things is going to be thrown away, you know, the employees can eat it or whatever. So, cause I've worked in fast food before and honestly y'all, fast food don't bother me. It's just the hours, but like fast food was fine. I mean, you stay busy, you meet people, you know, it, it was just fine. So I worked at, um, actually I worked at a place called Zaxby's and then I worked at um, a place called Mrs. Winters, which is like a KFC, but um, it was just, you know, Mrs. Winters is what they call it. Y'all may know what it is. But yeah, I worked at those two fast food places. I worked my first job ever was CC's Pizza. So I worked, you know, at a pizza place. But of course, going in high school, that's kind of what everybody usually chooses is, well, back in my day, you know, we always chose like fast food. But, um, but yeah, so like, even if like we would mess up the drive through window or somebody, you know, put the wrong side items with their chicken, you know, they're like, oh, y'all could just eat it or whatever. Wasn't a big deal. But like, but he's talking about firing people or, and I talked about how they did fire people because he ate two of the cookie dough things and then not only that they said that on the thing uh on the uh the facebook post that he was helping out so he was already done with his shift first thing he probably should have went on he should they know probably he should have went on home because if my shift is over y'all i'm gone I, I done been here all day uh, uh i'm gone so but yeah he should have went on home but i mean i mean you know he's retired older people think differently from us young folks but yeah he was retired and so he stayed after the help out a little bit and then end up getting himself fired for eating two 
cookie dough. And they said it was only 84 cents. Like, come on. Like, either take that out of his check or, you know, why y'all so strict like that? I mean, $18 is decent, but you're not about to, you know, control me for no $18. Um, also, you know, I heard that, like, if you late, you late, which my job, you know, they a little bit more lenient. And I know some companies are like that. And I agree, you know, you sign up to be here at 8 o'clock and you don't need to hear 801 or whatever. But, y'all, everybody's clocks be different. You know, everybody's clocks be different. But, yeah, if you late, you late. Pretty much they told somebody that I know that basically the only way they're going to excuse you from being late is if you pretty much somebody died in your family, you did. No, I'm not working for no company like that. I will quit in a heartbeat. I'm way too old to be mistreated or feel like I'm being mistreated. You know, if there's something that I don't want to deal with, because I know you can't just be quitting every job every time you don't like something. I get that. But if it's something that I don't want to deal with, uh-uh, I'm gone. I'm not, I'm not putting up with all that. But anyways, let me know in the comments how y'all feel about, you know, the little Bucky situation. You know, I just, I just feel like that, you know, it really wasn't a big deal to me. You know, people saying on Facebook that he stole and stealing and stealing. Well, I mean, we all break the law because ain't nobody doing the speed limit half the time. So if you're going to look at that, then we all breaking the law too. So, but yeah, let me know in the comments how y'all feel about that. And I will talk to y'all later. Happy Saturday, Kirby. It is uh, September the 14th and I'm headed to brunch. So it's my cousin's birthday today. I think she's 40, I believe. And so they did a 5K run and walk, but um, I didn't want to do that because honestly, I didn't know if I had to work today. So um, it goes to like charity or something. So you had to, you know, of course, sign up for it. And I'm like, I don't want to sign up because I don't really know if I have to work. So I ended up just not doing that and told them that I would just meet them for brunch. So we're going to meet at Wild Eggs at 10 o'clock. So it is about... I think like 9, 10, maybe close to 9, 15. I need to leave my house at least no later than really 9, 35. So I'm going to just do a quick makeup look. And then um, after brunch, I probably will. I need to wash my car. I need to take some stuff back from Goodwill or take some stuff to Goodwill. And then I also need to, what else do I need to do? There's something else I need to do. Oh, UPS. I got to take some stuff back at UPS. And then I might go to Target. I might go to TJ Maxx. It just depends on my vibes because y'all, y'all know me. I don't really do much. So when I'm out, um, you know, if I do one thing, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go back home. So we will see how that goes. Um, I'm looking actually in my camera because y'all, my tripod situation does not work too good. Um, I need to get one, but I just haven't ordered one yet. So I don't even know how these are going to come out. And this um, eyeliner that I'm using is kind of light i need it to be a little bit darker so i'll probably go to old navy because i got one at old navy and i really liked that when i was on vacation so i might just go to old navy and get my eyeliner and then also they had a um uh the perfume that i like so i might just go there too so anyways i'm just going to be doing a day of you know running errands i'll be by myself so um i actually like going out by my i mean sometimes i do like company but for the most part y'all i like going out by myself because i don't have to be rushed i can go home when i get ready you know i don't have to worry about nobody saying they are hungry or whatever you know it's just me so yeah so that's what uh that's my plans for today i also need to wash my hair and then i also want to oh let me put my um i need to put my um uh, nail uh not nail glue but my eyelash glue on i can let that sit but I also need to wash my hair. I might do that tomorrow. And then um, I need to, uh, my son wants his hair blonde, which I did, I did the tips before, but it's kind of like growing out. So I need to do that as well. But yeah. But anyways, I'll show you on my outfit here in a minute. Let me go ahead and get ready because I feel like it's going to take me long, longer if I talk. So let me go ahead and get ready. And then I'll show y'all my outfit and my 10 minute makeup look um, when I get finished. Psst. I see dead people.
curvy. I am all done. I got my makeup on. My hair is done. I'm ready to get out the door because it's getting close to 935. So let me show you all a quick uh, curvy fashion look of the day. So the top is just like a basic tee. I got it from Target. This is a vest from She and Curve. These uh, khaki shorts are from Plato's Closet. And then I have on these um, shoes. Uh, these sandals right here are from Ross. So I think I'm just going to go with this. Y'all ain't got time to be thinking about it because, you know, I just don't have time. But I'm loving the vest moment. Like I'm loving the vest. So I do have a, do I have a blue jean one? Yeah, I got a blue jean one from Shein that I'm going to style. This one, of course, is black and it can go with everything. It makes this outfit look more like a chic kind of casual look. So yeah, this is what I'm going with today. And then I'm going to be having, um, let me show you all my purse I got from Shein as well. This is the bag. I'm just going to have, I usually do a crossbody, but um, this is already ready to go. I don't have time to change purses today or right now. So I'm just going to go with this one. It's really, really cute. Y'all looks very expensive, but y'all know she in, they don't, their clothes don't be expensive all. So, um, it does have a zipper. It has two pockets inside. So, and it didn't come with a little, um, it did come with a little like change purse. So very cute. I got this bag. I'm going to just pop on and then I'm also have me some sunglasses. I'm going to throw on, um, cause it is sunny today. Okay, so this is a vibe. So yeah, this is the sunglasses are from Plato's Closet. And then my fragrance I'm wearing today is this fragrance right here. It is um, Dreamcatcher from, I think I got this maybe at Factory Connection or something like that. But yeah, let me get out the door, y'all. I don't know if I'm going to vlog because my family's not, they're not really social media people. So I may not be vlogging. I may show y'all my food or whatever. But yeah, let me go ahead and get out the door. Y'all, it feels so good outside. So I'll check the weather and it said it was supposed to be like, I think 80 by like maybe 11 or I don't know, maybe 10. But y'all, it feels so good. So I'm glad I wore what I wore because I was thinking it's going to be a little chilly. I did bring a jacket because, you know, the restaurants y'all be cold. And I did bring a jacket. Hold on, y'all. I got something in my eye. What's going on with this? Something in my eye. Oh, I see it. Some makeup or something. I got it. All right. Woo. Got to get that bad in my eye. All right. All right, y'all. Let's go. I might take these off, y'all. Honestly, y'all, sunglasses are cute and stuff for, like, looks. But really, I can't see no sunglasses. So, you know what? We're going to take these off. And I don't know if I take a photo or something outside, you know, I might put them back on. But right now, y'all, we're taking those off. Uh-uh. I don't really. I like them. I think, like I said, I think they're cute and everything. But for, um, you know, driving, I, maybe I just ain't got no good pair. But. I'm taking those off. I'm actually proud of myself, y'all, for getting out of the house because y'all don't know me like that. Like, I don't be going nowhere because I just be tired, y'all. My energy level is like a negative zero every single day. Like, I'm just a walking zombie. And it's probably because I've just trained my body to stay up so late. And now I don't know what to do because, like, when I do want to go to bed early, I wake up at, like, 1 or 2 o'clock. And then I'm up at, like, 4. You know, I'm up until 4. And then I got to go to work. So, it's just, like, one of those things that I'm struggling. I'm struggling with my, 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 my body and my uh you know energy level y'all it's it's rough out of here in the street so anyways but yeah so i'm actually proud of myself for actually getting up and going out of the house because i never do this and i y'all for be honest i don't have a lot of friends i don't i don't get into no drama like and i'm not saying everybody is drama but um you know a lot of people that i grew up with we just don't hang out anymore and they do things that i don't do and you know i just you know, it's, it's just, it is what it is. You know, you kind of outgrow people and, you know, I try to hang out with people that are like, like-minded. So like I am working on being a full-time content creator, influencer, whatever you want to call it. And I got to hang out with people that are down that same level, which my family's fine. Like I don't really, they don't do social media or anything like that, but you know, we're all very supportive of, of each other. And, um, you know, it's, it's not no big deal. You know, of course, family, they, they, they good or whatever, but, um, but yeah, I don't really hang out with a lot of people. And the girls actually I work with, like we all get along and they know me, you know, we, of course we work together. When you work with somebody for 40 hours uh, a week, you're going to get to know them. So um, we all kind of, you know, um, we go out to eat. Well, I've been out to eat once with them, but y'all, they are so much younger than me. I'm about to be 40 and one of them is 29. The other one's like 22, you know, um, the other girls are maybe like 26. Like they are all younger than me. Well, my manager, she's uh, older than me. But, um, you know, we all just kind of get along, but we all have to work. So, like, today, one of the girls, she's working, so it's like we can't do nothing today. I mean, we could after she got off work, but, you know, people just have other stuff to do. So, I don't really have a lot of group of people that I go out and, you know, hang out with. But but I am today. I am on September the 14th, uh, 2024. I'm going out uh, to brunch, and we actually are going to Wild Eggs. I don't know if I said that or not. 
sorry y'all that was a, lot, a little noisy but they're doing um they're redoing our roads i think they're black topping it uh, on our main roads and it was a little loud but yeah i'm headed out so i will probably get with you all probably after brunch it depends on how the vibes are like i said i might show you all my food but other than that i'll probably get with y'all after i get out of brunch girlfriends that you know you can like get along with and no drama and just catching up so that's pretty much what we do of course we're related we're all cousins so one of my cousins she just had a baby um so she was there and then um my other cousin whose birthday of course she was there and then her sisters were there then my sister was there then we had another cousin so it's just like a little it's about eight of us um, you know, just a, like a little family kind of catch up because I mean even though we all live in the same city You know people just have jobs and just responsibilities and just a lot of stuff going on that you don't really get to see people Like I feel like family don't hang out like they used to hang out and you know I, Maybe because I was a, like when I was little, you know, I didn't have responsibility So I felt like we all kind of I feel like we always hung out Of course we live like down the street from each other and stuff like that But now, you know one of them actually lives in a different state and then um, the all of us other ones we, we actually live here here but it's just like everybody's just so busy but um i think she we had mentioned that we're going to uh, try to start doing this as le at least once once every quarter or something like that so that we can just get together and hang out catch up talk about our kids or talk about whatever we want to talk about so yeah it was really nice just to get away and you know just kind of be around a bunch of women like i said that we all get along and no drama nothing like that so so yeah i'm about to go get my car washed so I was gonna go to this one location, but it's kinda out of my way. So I think I'm just gonna run up to this um, place down the street and just get my car washed. And I just went, um, I just got back from the UPS, taking my stuff back from there. And then I still gotta drop my clothes off at Goodwill. But I need to go through it because I have a coworker that she says she would like try some of the stuff that I have in there. So I kinda need to briefly go through, go through it really quickly. But yeah, I think I'll probably maybe end of the vlog here, y'all. There's nothing really going on. I'm just going to get my car washed. Um, I might. I don't know if I really feel like looking around today because it's crowded. It's kind of crowded, y'all. And I don't like to be around big crowds. And like, I understand like everybody works during the week and so everybody is out. So I don't know if I want to go to the stores or not. Um, if I do, I kind of want to go to Glasgow, which is a different part of Kentucky, which is only like 20 minutes away um, because they have a couple of stores they don't have here that I want to go into. The bills y'all been talking about bills bills that i've been talking about i still haven't been so if i go if i want to spend my energy shopping i kind of want to go there so i don't want to like go to J max and spend, spend my energy there because uh it's just it's just crowded so the place where it's like 20 minutes away it's not really that many it's like it's a, a smaller city so there's not that many people there where i, where I live it's, it's pretty big <laughs> well it's not big big but you know it's bigger than the other place so i might just go there if i feel like looking around but for now i'm gonna get my car washed and I might just, just, I don't know, I might go to Target, but um, I think that's just what I'm gonna do. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get my car washed because I'm rambling. I took that five for you. I do that three, four times again. I test the five for you. I told I like you. With all of them, I'm probably scared to do. I'm not. As long as you're joking, now in for me. I ain't got it. My bitch, skin me, do it. Hide your bodies. Hey, hello. I got a free wash. Okay. Yeah, it's unlimited. Unlimited wash, yeah, yeah, that's okay. You're fine. Oh, yeah, oh, gotcha. Oh, gotcha. Oh, okay, 
Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's with my the company I work for. Yeah, do you want the tire shine on? Uh, yes, that'll be fine. Yeah, I'll pick you up. Okay. All right, thank you. Uh-huh. You too. In the top top right with you, I feel like Scarface. If the boy bitch with the bob, I'll be your main one. Just take this argument back up to my place. Sex remind you on the violin on your day one. We had you, yeah. It was magic, yeah. Magic grab you, yeah. Last time was taking hold when you're not here. Ain't a home when you're not here. Are they growing? You're not here, I'm saying. Just wanna be the way